Hello, this is Jenny McGarvey, and I am happy to share with you today my happy planner, and this is May 2nd through May 8th. This is actually the expansion pack for the happy planner, and then some of the mini rings. I only have three months in the planner. So when I'm planning, I like to go ahead and pull out the page that I'm working on. It makes it so much easier to write in the Wednesday and the Thursdays, and then also to not have the bulk underneath so there's little chance of screwing up my writing or my stamping. I'm working primarily with the Scraptastic Club April 2016 Plan On It kit, but I'm also using a lot of items from my stash as well. I wanted to incorporate the two together because I do have a fairly significant sticker and stamp stash and then the kit is fun to use. So I thought it would be fun to work both of those things together. Now you're seeing right there, I'm looking through, it's a Kaiser Craft little pouch. It's got a zipper at the top. And that's where I keep a bunch of my five by eight and smaller sticker sets. And so I'm looking through there, trying to find a sticker set. There we go. It is by Chrissy Ann Designs. And I have a couple of this particular one. It's like a light turquoise and gray sampler sheet, like a weekly sampler type sheet. And this is the basis for my week, this particular color scheme, though you will see that I add a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red as well to go with that. Now I'm using one of those boxes and then on top of it layering a Libby and Company baseball stamp. So therefore I can notate my son's baseball game and then it looks really cute because you have not only the decorative box but then also the little baseball as well. And the layering is just a fun little thing. For me it's kind of reminiscent and left over from my scrapbooking where we do a lot of layering and clustering and that kind of thing and it's really just fun to do also in the planner. Though I don't typically do a whole lot of it because I'm not really what you would call a planner decorator. I just do a lot of functional planning and then it also ends up being a little bit decorative just based on the things that I choose to incorporate. Now those are one of my very favorite stickers. It's a baseball sticker and then it's got the room to write on it as well. But what I love about it is the background is not white. The background is different colors. And I wish that more companies would do that because with all the planner pages being white, it's really nice to have some different colors right on top of that white paper. Now those teardrop stickers, I use them a lot, usually at least one or two a week, just to notate a word or two. So just exactly like I used it there to go with an event sticker, but I only need to write a word or two. So like in this case, I need to notate that I am bringing snacks for my son's baseball game. But I don't need to have a whole sticker related to that, but I do need to include it, otherwise I would forget. So that is why the teardrop stickers work really well for me. Now in the Happy Planner, when I'm using it as my primary weekly planner, not as my memory planner, I like to use the leave the bottom blank and use that whole section as my daily to-do list. I find that I usually have, you know, three to five tasks every day that I need to get done. And a lot of times, if I don't write it down, I would totally forget about it. And so adding that little daily to-do list down at the bottom of the box really just helps me a ton accomplish a lot of stuff. And so I feel really good about it. Now I like to use those pencil stickers that you see in my Tuesday morning. I like to use them on Wednesday mornings typically since that is when my son has late start and I take him to school. But this particular week he is taking an AP test and so I wanted to use the pencil for that as it only seemed fitting. So I will find a different week for this particular or different way for this particular week to notate the late start. But that's okay because I do really enjoy changing it up in my planner. I don't like to use the same thing from day to day and week to week. I do like to find different uses for all of my different stickers and stamps. So I'm cool with that. It's totally fine. I have a large stash of things to work with anyway. Now I'm looking for one particular sticker. Don't you hate that when you know you have it somewhere but you can't remember exactly what sheet it's on or where it's at? One particular sticker that I'm looking for and I believe that I'm actually looking for a little telephone icon to notate a phone call that I have. And I'm looking through all of my Scraptastic Club stickers, looking for those, that's exactly what I'm looking for, those icon stickers. But there is not a telephone included so that's kind of a bummer. So after I'm finished, crying in my milk, just kidding, I'm totally not upset about it. After I'm done looking for it, see now I found these, thinking, okay, I bet there's a telephone on there. Yep, nope, no telephone. 
I'm going to look for a different telephone icon to notate a phone call because is it important that I include a telephone icon? Nope, totally not important. But at that point, I've kind of got it in my head that I want to specifically notate this phone call. So it's imperative that I find a sticker that includes a phone, which is totally random and completely not like me since I don't really do a whole ton of themed planning. Don't get me wrong, I do some themed planning, but not all of it is themed. So it's really weird that I feel like I must include the telephone, but for whatever reason, I already had it in my head that I really wanted a specific sticker to notate that. So I'm just gonna keep going through all of those stickers looking for a telephone. So when you're wondering, oh my gosh, what is she looking for? Yep, I'm looking for a telephone. The good thing about looking through all of my stickers, however, is that it helps jog my memory of stickers that I do have or that I might want to use. Now this is another one of those Kaiser Craft pouches, and this is my less often used stickers. And some of them are actually scrapbook stickers that could be used for planning, but mostly just planning stickers that I don't reach for as often, and they're maybe not quite my style or whatever. And a package of simple stories, little icons, and I found the telephone. So now I'm feeling much better since I have that silly little telephone icon that I really wanted to use. Now I'm gonna use this little arrow looking sticker from Little Radish Company. I think that's the name of it. I know it's Little Radish, it's the third word that I'm not completely sure on. And it's a little arrow looking sticker, kind of like home plate and baseball, but more like an arrow, just to notate the phone call. And that is one of my favorite ways to do it in this planner, is to point to the little icon sticker or stamp. I don't know why, I don't know how I got started doing that, but I just, I really think it's fun and I like it a lot. Now this is one of the stamps from the Scraptastic Club April Plan On It kit and I just love it. It's an awesome sized box that allows me to write a lot about an event, but then it's got that tiny little cutout where you can add one of the little stamps that comes with it. Or in this case, I have some teeny tiny little baseball stickers and I like to use those right there because it's very cute and they fit perfectly. And then now I can write all of the information that I need to write in that sort of half box sized stamp. And the thing that I like the most about the stamps is that I can change up the colors of the ink that I use to fit any theme or any color scheme every single week. And so that's why stamping is really just a fun way to customize your layouts to whatever supplies you might be using or whatever theme of the week or whatever like that. Now one of the things that I like to do with these little banner stickers, the ones that have maybe two or three little room lines for writing is I like to use those for event stickers also. So in this case, a lot of times for baseball games or basketball games or whatever, I will need three different lines of information. And so those end up working perfectly for me because I can write the time, the person, and the place. And it's just something a little bit different. I'm not using the standard quarter boxes or half boxes or like I did earlier with that phone call with the arrow pointing to the icon. Just something, another way to change it up and make not everything look exactly the same because I do like to keep my things changed up. You know, I don't want everything to look exactly the same. Now this is one of my new very favorite sticker sheets from Scraptastic Club. There are different size boxes, but then there is room for a little icon sticker or a tiny little icon stamp as well. And then those circles are, so it gives the illusion of two different colors. It's very cool, I'm very excited about those. So now I am by and large finished with the first half of the week. So I'm going to throw some washi tape down at the bottom part of the, to cover up the evening header. I am using a craft knife to trim it up, but you don't have to. You can use a gift card or something else. I just happen to use a craft knife because I have one in my craft space, but it's absolutely not imperative. Lots of other things work, including scissors. Now this is a little stencil that came in one of the Scraptastic Club's kits. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word for it. And they're also available in the store. And I like using it sometimes because it is, I don't have to pull out a stamp and an ink pad and that kind of thing. You can just use a pen and any color pen. So maybe I don't have the color ink pad that I wanted or whatever. I just wanted to use the stencil in this particular case because I have a couple of stamp sets that look almost identical to that. So I could have absolutely stamped it and I don't consider stamping a problem at all, but I thought it would be fun to use the stencil. Now again, like I mentioned before, I like to use these bottom boxes for to-do lists. And so I like to make sure that I have room for at least like five different 
things that I need to finish that day. And then I like to change each day up as well. Sometimes I keep them fairly consistent, but by and large, I like to change them and make each one a little bit different because then I have a really varied planner and my personality is definitely not to be all matchy-matchy. I definitely like things just a little bit different. And so for every day having something different, it's great for me. Now, as I'm planning, I remember a couple of to-dos that I need to make sure that I get done on some specific days. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill those in. I like to use the Papermate Flare pens. I actually recently only got them. I had been using for a long time only my Kira Arena Twin pens, the ones that have the pen on one side and the highlighter on the other. And those are still definitely a favorite for me. But, you know, I just wanted to add a few more pens to my stash. I mean, why not? So I tried the Papermate Flares, and they're fantastic. So now I'm going to go ahead and work on the second half of the week, putting away the first half. And I'm really actually super excited about how it turned out. You never know if that's going to be the case or not. Like I said, this is the extension pack for my Happy Planner, and so I do have to add the date stickers at the top since these are undated, which is just fine by me. I like the way that this looks a lot. I actually had considered stamping the dates this week, to be perfectly honest with them. I must have completely forgotten. But anyway, I like the way that the little circle dates look at the top, and so I think that's really cute. So I like having that as a, a different planner than either my Inkwell Press or my Memory Planner, that kind of thing. So now it's time to start thinking about planning the rest of the week. And so since I already know from the first half of the week the, what the color scheme is, and I had one of those weekend stickers that matched perfectly from the kit, I just went ahead and put that down. And then I'm going to go back and start working on Thursday. Now on Thursday, I will also do a little bit of layering for the stickers like I talked about earlier in the week just adding one of those hexagons and then putting right on top of it an arrow sticker. And the same thing being true, that the arrow sticker will just notate the time because there really wasn't enough room for me to write all of it on the hexagon without it being particularly squished. So in this way, just layering two stickers together looks cool. And then I can also include all of the informa in necessary information. Now those are those Chrissy Ann stickers that were the basis for this week, and so I'm just going to lean a little bit heavily on that sheet for right now for my Friday because I wanted to draw that color scheme back over into the right side of the week since I had from the left as well. There's a lot of really great stickers on those sampler sheets. I'm really excited about those. They're fun to use. There's a lot of, you know, between the really basic boxes and then a couple of the decorative elements and then the little icons, there's definitely a lot to love about this st sticker sheet. Now I am going to use on Friday a few of the different, the half boxes and then the quarter boxes to notate some of our events and then also another one of those baseball stickers from Hello Emma Company. There are so many baseball events for me right now, although that will be ending shortly, that it's nice for me to change them up a little bit. I don't want them all to look exactly the same on the same day. Even though, yes, you called it, I have three baseball games on that exact same day. But using three different stickers gives me a little bit more flexibility to, to keep it not so matchy-matchy and make it all a little bit more varied and whatnot. Now again, I'll get to a lot more of the sticker layering here on Friday. I'm using one of those little notebook-looking memo stickers from Scruptastic Club, and then I'm going to take a little coffee cup sticker and put it right there notating the coffee that I bring every Friday for the teacher when I come to volunteer and the coffee order. Not that I would forget to do it, but I just like to notate it with my volunteering since it's all kind of together and the same sort of event. And the coffee sticker just makes that extra cute, even though the memo stickers are super cute all on their own. So now the Chrissy Ann stickers are a glossy sort of vinyl and they do need to be used with a permanent marker. So I'm using a Pilot permanent marker. I really like the tip. It works well for me and my handwriting and it just feels good. But you could absolutely use an, a, a Sharpie marker and I do like to use those as well. And I'm sure when the Pilot's done, I'll probably just go back to using a Sharpie. But for me, for right now, having that pen, I like it a lot. So now again, I'm gonna look through my stickers and pull out a Libby & Company baseball sticker. I love the size of these. They're kind of about the size of a dime maybe. 
and they're just perfect and they're really cute and I absolutely love how many you get on a sheet also and they're just awesome they're perfect for me and then I will write on that hello Emma company sticker and then finish up on the other Chrissy Ann design sticker as well and then pulling out another one of those teeny tiny little baseballs as an accent for this one as well Now, for some reason, I'm going to jump a little bit ahead and add where I stamp on the Sunday evening portion for next week. Now, I do this because I like to keep track of events or due dates that are the following week that might creep up on me if I did not notate them this week. So, for example, if I have a due date for something on Monday or Tuesday and I turn my planner and, oopsie, that was due, no, I really need to know about it the week before so that I can work on it and get it ready. So I like to notate down there in that next week section things that are going to come up next week or early in the week so that I can be thinking about them or have them finished before I flip that planner page. And since I don't do or I don't schedule to-dos for the weekend section, it's fine that I keep that in the Sunday night or Sunday evening section because I wouldn't ordinarily use it anyway. Possibly I would use it decoratively, but I wouldn't use it for any standard thing that I do every single week. So it's a good spot for me to add those things for looking forward. Now a couple of little hexagons from the Chrissy Ann sheet where I can write the little specific notes and I'm only varying the ink color because the sticker color is varied. Otherwise, I would have absolutely just used the same pen, no big deal. And I could have absolutely used the same pen even though the stickers were different, but I figured I might as well go ahead and spice things up a little bit. Now because the week is nearly finished, I'm going to go ahead and add it back into my planner and going to add a tiny bit of washi to the afternoon section. And that just goes back to what I said about how I don't like to do it all the same because then it looks really matchy-matchy, but I want them to coordinate. So that's why I do add a little bit on the right side as well so then you can tie those two things together. Now the last thing I'm going to do is add my meal planning in for this week and I'm just going to take that little icon stamp from this week from Scruptastic Club and with yellow pigment ink stamp down along the bottom for our dinners and then use the Paper Mate Flare and write on top of it what the main dish is right there. So that's it. That is my entire week in my Happy Planner. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy my video, please leave me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoy it. And it also lets YouTube know what kind of content you like to see. Thank you so much for stopping by and make it a great day.